Blake's introduction to the Songs of Innocence. I'm going to read through the poem and talk about what I think it's about and some key ideas about it. Piping down the valleys wild, piping songs of pleasant glee, on a cloud I saw a child, and he laughing said to me, Pipe a song about a lamb, so I piped with merry cheer. Piper, pipe that song again, so I piped, he wept to hear. Drop thy pipe, thy happy pipe, sing thy songs of happy cheer. So I sung the same again, while he wept with joy to hear. Piper, sit thee down and write in a book that all may read. So he vanished from my sight, and I plucked a hollow reed. And I made a rural pen, and I stained the water clear, and I wrote my happy songs, every child may joy to hear. Right, it's very important that, to look at the title, the introduction. So this is an introduction justifying why Blake has written all of these poems here. And what we get is a story of a um, piper, the poet who's saying the actual poem, um, is a piper. Um, he's, and if you look at the picture, it looks like some sort of instrument, a bit like the clarinet that he's playing. Um, and he's coming down the valleys wild, which is quite interesting, isn't he? A wild place, but this is a place that's a bit like a kind of paradise, or some people say an Arcadia, another word for paradise. Um, and he's piping songs of pleasant glee. Notice the adjective pleasant, um, which suggests something that's quite mild, doesn't it? and glee, something that's very joyful. Um, and those two words put together are quite unusual, aren't they? There's almost a quality of it being an oxymoron, two sort of opposites put together. If glee, you're in an extreme state of mind, and pleasant, you're in a kind of mild state of mind, aren't you? Um, he, now, we have the mystery, don't we, of the piper seeing a child on a cloud, I suppose throughout the poem we're asking who is this child that's asking him to pipe a song about a lamb. Um, and the lamb has a capital letter. I think most commentators agree that the, the lamb is not only a, a literal lamb, you know, to sing something about the natural world, but also the Lamb of God, which is uh, Jesus. So it, we have a kind of Christian element to the poem. So uh, the piper pipes uh, a, a song about the Lamb to the child on a cloud. And the um, child asks for that again. Um, and the child weeps to hear it. Um, and we learn later in the third verse, he's weeping with joy. So um, again, though, it's a bit like the um, pleasant glee term. There is a sort of uh, sense of contradiction in the sense that the child is crying with joy. Um, and we have uh, that, that creates a kind of tension in the poem. Um, notice also the ways in which um, Blake repeats words and this is an idea and the technique that he uses throughout all of his poems um, particularly striking here with him playing around the word pipe or piping so we have um, him piping he pipes um, piped um, and we have the word piping which is a verb to begin with turning into a noun. Um, he's constantly playing around with it. It's almost like it's a tongue twister or um, a kind of game, a linguistic game that he's playing. Um, so the child asks him to uh, pipe the song again um, and then he says drop thy pipe, thy happy pipe, and sing the song, so bring words to this song. Um, uh, we don't quite know what sort of words he sing, sings, um, but uh, we learn later on that they are the songs 
that we are about to read in this book. Okay, um, and he vanishes from the sight of the piper, so the child just disappears. Again, a kind of mysterious child on a cloud, a bit like an angel or, or perhaps even God. And the piper plucks a hollow reed. Um, the verb pluck is important there, isn't it? He's plucking it, so he's pulling it out of the ground in a quite a violent way. And it's a hollow reed. Some people have commented on the fact that that adjective hollow is important um, not only it's, uh, it's suggesting you know that m what he's writing is not so true and whole as what he's sung and played with his pipe um, so because what's happening is that he's writing down the poems so that everyone can participate in them. Um, I made a rural pen, again the adjective rural, very important, um, a, a, a country pen, a rural meaning of the country, um, and I stained the water clear, so he stains the water, doesn't he? Again we have an image that's slightly um, unnerving, isn't it? It's a very happy song this, but there's constantly things underneath it which um, slightly jar, don't they? Um, and he writes the happy songs that every joy, every child may joy to hear. So um, he's now going to write these songs um, that we are going to read in this book. The, many people see this as a sort of uh, allegory. That's a story which has a kind of religious symbolic meaning about um, the artist's relationship with God. That God is calling the piper or the poet to s pipe, make music, then to sing and then finally to write down um, so that all the children may hear. And we get a sense of loss even in this poem because the, um, the, the children can't actually hear the music, can they, when they read the poems. They can't um, hear him singing it they have to read what he's written. But the act of writing is important because all the children, every ch child, will be able to look at this and read this. Um, so Blake is sort of talking about the ways in which writing can communicate with a much wider audience. And this is certainly at the beginning in when he started writing these poems, his intention to publish them himself and to have a wide audience, a much wider audience than he would naturally have. Um, we hear in his, uh, in people writing about Blake's life that he would actually sing these songs, so that's significant. Um, and we hear actually just as he was dying he, he sang as well, so we have a kind of picture here, don't we, of um, a simple idea of, uh, of a poet being called to write down some songs that he's been singing, um, but underneath it we have some kind of complex ideas going on, some uh, religious ideas and some uh, complicated ideas about the differences between speaking differences between music, speaking and writing. Um, what I think is a really good task to do, having listened to me explain this and, and actually read it for yourself, is to read it out aloud um, to yourself if you haven't done so. And Blake sang it, have a go at singing it to yourself if you can. Um, and then write down what you think and feel about the poem, um, what, it does, what it communicates to you.